Good morning, everyone. Our opening song is Center of My Life. O oh Lord, you are the center of my life. I will always praise you. I will always serve you. I will always keep you in my sight. Keep me safe, O oh God, I take refuge in you. I say to the Lord, you are my God. My happiness lies in you alone. My happiness lies in you alone. O oh Lord, you are the center of my life. I will always praise you. I will always serve you. I will always keep you in my sight. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel, who even at night directs my heart. I keep the Lord ever in my sight. Since he is at my right hand, I shall stand firm. O oh Lord, you are the center of my life. I will always praise you. I will always serve you. I will always keep you in my sight. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. As we gather at this Mass on this Feast of St. Romuald, we ask his intercession as we pray in a special way for the deceased members of the Ferry family and the special intention for Ella Culinary. For the times we fail to love God as we should, we bow our heads and ask for his mercy, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at God's right hand. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who through St. Romwald renewed the manner of life of hermits in your church, grant that denying ourselves and following Christ, we may merit to reach the heavenly realms on high. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. It is necessary to boast, though nothing is to be gained by it. But I will go on to visions and revelations of the Lord. I know a person in Christ who 14 years ago was caught up to the third heaven. Whether in the body or out of the body, I do not know but God knows. And I know that such a person, whether in the body or out of the body, I do not know, but God knows, was caught up into paradise and heard things that are not to be told, that no mortal is permitted to repeat. On behalf of such a one, I will boast. Put on my own behalf, I will not boast except of my own weaknesses. But. If I wish to boast, I will not be a fool, for I will be speaking the truth. But I refrain from it, so that no one may think better of me than what is seen in me or heard from me, even considering the exceptional character of the revelations. Therefore, to keep me from being too elated, a thorn was given me in the flesh, a messenger of Satan to torment me, to keep me from being too elated. Three times I appealed to the Lord about this, that it would leave me, but he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for power is made perfect in weakness. So I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may dwell in me. Therefore I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities for the sake of Christ. For whenever I am weak, then I am strong. The word of the Lord. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. 
Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy are those who take refuge in him. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Oh, fear the Lord, you his holy ones, for those who fear him have no want. The young lions suffer want and hunger, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Come, O children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Which of you desires life and covets many days to enjoy good? Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Jesus Christ was rich, but he became poor to make you rich out of his poverty. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the disciples, no one can serve two masters for a slave will either hate the one and love the other, or be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and wealth. Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And can any of you by worrying add a single hour to the span of your life? And why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin, but I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not clothed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which is alive today and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? Therefore do not worry saying, what will we eat or what will we drink or what will we wear? For it is the Gentiles who strive for all these things. And indeed your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But strive first for the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things will be given to you as well. So do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring worries of its own. Today's trouble is enough for today. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. A lot of one-line quotes in the scriptures today for us to reflect upon, especially all the worry warts, right? Why do we worry so much? The Gospel of Sunday, we're going to see how Jesus calms the storms, the storms of life. Can you add one hour to your life by worrying, the Lord asks. What's our answer to that question? Jesus doesn't ask questions just to ask. When he asks a question, he wants a response. That doesn't mean to live carefree like a teenager. Teenagers are all about the moment. There is no future. I'm 13. That's all that matters. Sorry, 13-year-olds, right? Sometimes we remain as 13, though. It's all about me. It's all about in the moment and a sense of entitlement. That's not good either. That's not what Jesus is talking about. Jesus is talking about this dependency on God. And the more we are dependent on God, the more I trust instead of worry. Lord, this is a big trial in front of me, but I know you're going to see me through it. You always do. You always do. And like Job, while the rest of the world might see that it's a very bad thing, it's probably a very good thing for me. Because if nothing lasts, it's going to strengthen my bond with you. 
Then we have our friend St. Paul, who says so beautifully in his letter, I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, calamities for the sake of Christ. For whenever I am weak, then I am strong. St. Paul learned the hard way. He had to go through all of this for him to come to this revelation. How many times do we need to go through hardships to come to that same revelation? Are you like me that often learns the hard way, where God's like, mm-hmm, I was there the whole time. Thanks for coming out, you know? Why are we stubborn? Well, oftentimes we expect our life to be chocolates, rainbows, and all of that. That's not what Jesus promised us. And for many of us, when we face a trial, it actually builds character. And God is testing us to see if we are going to continue to be dependent on him or if we think we can do it ourselves. Jesus says, with me you can do all things, but apart from me you can do nothing. Why do we have to do it the hard way? So friends, I leave you with the words of Jesus. So do not worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow will bring worries of its own. Today's trouble is enough for today. Jesus, help us to worry less and to trust you more. Let us pray. Trusting in the Lord's providence, let us present our needs to him. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the church that we, the body of Christ, may be strengthened in our mission through word and sacrament, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For national and local leaders, may the Holy Spirit foster in them a thirst for peace and justice, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those afflicted with fear, anxiety, and worry. May God's never-ending love for them bring them consolation and peace, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community of St. Joseph, baptized into Christ, May the Spirit of the Lord inspire us to trust more in our lives of faith, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the diaconate, especially in our great diocese, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to the spread of the coronavirus, for all those affected by the virus, that they may be healed by Jesus, the divine physician. For all frontline and medical workers, that God may keep them safe and for all who have died as a result of the virus and their families left behind, that God may be their comfort and peace, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who have died. We remember especially the deceased members of the Fairy family, the holy souls in purgatory, and all who have died. May they live forever in the joy of heaven with all the angels and saints, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer and for all the intentions we verbalize to God from the silence of our hearts. Heavenly Father, we ask that you listen to the prayers we present to you. We ask these in all things through Christ our Lord. St. Romwald, pray for us. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant that those who approach your altar, O Lord, that spirit of devotion with which the blessed abbot Romuald was on fire, so that pure of heart and fervent in charity, we may offer you a worthy sacrifice through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new, and offer us sure signs of your love, and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all that we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks. As an exaltation, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God, In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus' mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, our husband, with your blessed apostles, with Saint Romuald, Saint Paul, St. Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church. 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present, just those receiving Jesus sacramentally. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. By the power of the sacrament which we have received, renew our hearts, O Lord, so that by the example of the abbot, St. Romuald, being wise in the things above and not in the things of earth here below, we may merit to appear in glory with Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass has ended. Let us go forth in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. O oh Lord, you are the center of my life. I will always praise you. I will always serve you. I will always keep you in my sight. And so my heart rejoices, my soul is glad. Even in safety shall my body rest. For you will not leave my soul among the dead, nor let your beloved no decay. O Lord, you are the center of my life. I will always praise you. I will always serve you. I will always keep you in my sight. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence. At your right hand, at your right hand, happiness forever. O oh Lord, you are the center of my life. I will always praise you. I will always serve you. I will always keep you in my sight. God bless you. Have a good day.